We're going to start with uh, the youth section of this show, youth high school. Uh, we're going to start with that section of the show. That's the first thing we're going to talk about. The first thing that we're going to talk about is the North American High School Series Sevens Championship, baby. And uh, this is, first of all, this is a high school elite rugby seven series that is in the U.S. and Canada. The goal of this series is to increase the talent level, um, to develop rugby sevens players, and to just give these guys a platform to play primetime elite rugby. Because like we see a lot in high school and college level, there is just massive blowouts. I mean, everywhere that you look the at the schedule, you're just seeing these big time blowouts. And in my opinion, I don't really feel like that's very productive all the time. Uh, so it's a great thing what Michael Kressler and the crew are doing with the North American High School Series uh, because it is providing a platform where there's more even talent level uh, and they're able to get better. When you're when you're faced with competition, you definitely grow as a player and as a person and as a team when the competition gets harder. We have academies all over the U.S. that are involved in this series. Uh, the first stop of the series, it was supposed to be Easter weekend in Orlando, Florida, and uh, it was canceled, not postponed. This was actually canceled, but uh, I want to do kind of a what if scenario. So we're going to talk about some of the pools that were set up there um, at this first stop on the series. There was 16 teams total uh, for the boys and the girls. Not all the teams were academy, uh, were a part of the series. There were some invitational teams that came from out of uh, different countries uh, and um, one or two select teams that were involved in it as well, just to even out the competition. Uh, but there, there were not all series teams. But let's go through the pools and let's uh, give my quick synopsis of who I feel like would have won the first stop at the North American High School Series. Boom. So in Pool A for the boys, we have Eagle Impact Rugby Academy. We have Utah Rugby Academy, we have the Jamaican Crocs from Jamaica, and we have Rock Rugby Academy. Now, uh, based on what I know, Rock Rugby Academy um, had lost quite a quite a few players that were absolutely incredible. Last year, they went, they took second in Utah, uh, losing to Atlanta or losing to Eagle Impact Rugby Academy. What an incredible 2019 that those boys had. Um, but it's going to be a little bit different in 2020. I have seen the Jamaican Crocs play in Barbados, their young uh, young development team. I think not the whole entire roster was there. But uh, they have some firepower over there. And then Utah Rugby Academy, uh, also a growing team from last year, getting better each year. Also plenty of firepower. And then Eagle Impact Rugby Academy. They're the defending champs and they look better than ever. They have they've lost some great players, but man, the 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 tunnel that they have of, of of the funnel that they have over there of players that just keep coming in over there in the California area is fantastic. And uh, no doubt about it, I believe that they would take this pool. And then I think it would be a battle between the Jamaican team and Utah to take that second spot. Pool B, we have Arizona Bobcats, Brisbane Samoa Academy in, from Australia, Rebel Rugby Academy, and Upright Rugby. Upright from Canada, uh, won it two years ago, always developing great talent over there in Canada and pulling in some great numbers every time they show up to a tournament. Uh, we have Rebel Rugby Academy, also a growing elite academy over there, and they're always coming with plenty of firepower, and I've heard that they had a lot coming uh, for this tournament for sure. And then uh, Samoa, I don't know a lot about this specific academy, but I know Samoans know how to play rugby. If, if you're from Samoa, you usually know how to play rugby. So um, Samoa would have definitely, I'm sure, came with some pretty good talent and would be a tough out here. And then the Arizona Bobcats, uh, a, a younger team last year, um, coming into another year here in 2020. I think a lot of those younger guys have been developing over there, and they would have been a tough team to play. However, here's my prediction of Pool B. I think that Rebel Rugby would come through and Upright Rugby would come through. 
But man, this would be, I think that this is the toughest pool in my opinion because you don't know what to expect from Samoa. You don't know what to expect from Arizona as a growing team hoping that they're getting better. But those are my two, my two teams. And then for Pool C, we have a team from Wales called Landovery College, Canadian Misfits, uh, the North American High School Barbarians. This was a select team that was placed in. The North American High School Barbarians are usually an elite, like, all-star team of this series. They grab players from this series and make an all-star team. They uh, just, it, this wouldn't be the all-star team of, of, you know, all the best players in the series on this specific team, but for the purposes of evening out the pool, they made a team and they're just bringing kind of a crop of guys to play on this team. Um, and then Rhino Rugby Academy, um, great team out there in Cal uh, California and Irvine, California, doing incredible things. I've heard their story and uh, no doubt about it. They came with some firepower in LA. They took second place, only losing to Eagle Impact Rugby Academy, and they did not go down easily. This was anyone's game for most of the match, and that was very encouraging because Rhino was like, yo, we weren't on the series last year, but we're on the series this year, and we're about to come and take the whole entire thing in our first year. Like, they showed that type of skill out there on the pitch, and no doubt about it, I have them coming through Pool C. And I think that either the Misfits or this team from Wales, I don't really know Wales, but if Wales, if this team is anything like the team that plays on the series, and I don't know about this. I'm going to go with the Canadian Misfits. Also, always pack in tons of heat. Talk to those boys out there in New Zealand at the World School 7s. Uh, they have a great group of guys over there. Very talented bunch. I think Rhino Rugby and Canadian Misfits would come through Pool C. And then for Pool D, we have Atlantas. Atlantis Rugby, never, ever, ever, ever can you count out Atlantis. Uh, they've been around for a very long time. Um, the legendary Emil Cygnus that started the Atlantis program, uh, like back in like the 70s or something like that, where they went to their first tournament in Harvard. Like this team has deep, deep roots. So no doubt about it, they always come with great players and have talent that's always rising up ready to play for Atlantis. Uh, we have Gorilla Rugby Academy. They're a new academy out there in the Texas area. Um, last year, they showed some real firepower, and they showed some real um, encouraging performances. They didn't quite get there, but you you could tell, oh, wow, if this team sticks together, and oh, wow, if they continue to develop these players like this, and there's some more talent coming through Texas, this could be a lethal team. Plus, their jerseys are really dope. I really like their jerseys. I like them. And I like the gorilla, like, man, you know, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, gorilla baby. Uh, green and gold from Canada. Um, and then USA Rugby South. Um, USA Rugby South, another team that was pretty lethal in that Utah tournament last year. Kind of unexpected, but really came out and punched some teams in the mouth and held their own pretty well. Uh, and... I know that they had some great football studs on their team uh, in Orlando last year that didn't play in Utah, but still kind of had a good good tournament. So I no doubt about it, I think they would come with some firepower. I think Atlantis would go through Pool D. And it's either Gorilla or USA Rugby South. I don't know a lot about Green and Gold from Canada, but I think I'm going to lean toward oh, USA. USA. I think USA would come in. If they're coming in with a lot of the guys from last year, they would pull it off. So there you go. There's the, the final eight that I would predict coming through this. If the tournament went down and maybe we'll go down in Utah, we'll see some of we're going to see. That's eight. Okay. I don't know where they would end up on the, the bracket from there in that elite eight, but I'll give you my best four teams out of this. And I think I would go with Eagle Impact, Rugby Academy, Rhino Rugby Academy, Atlantis, and it's either between Rebel Rugby or the Misfits, maybe even Upright, man, this is so tough, oh, would you, uh, I'm hearing Rebel was going to come with some firepower, so I'll go with Rebel Rugby Academy, I'm sorry to my Canadian brothers, but you know, I could be wrong here, like, this is all hypothetical, okay? Don't judge me! Anyway, though, out of those final four, let's go down to the championship if I just pick the best two out of that. 
I would go with Eagle Impact Rugby Academy. I just can't go against them. I mean, they're the defending champs, and they're coming in with a firepower. I saw them in L.A., uh, and then, then I would go with either Rhino or Atlanta, Rebel. Rebel's so uncertain. I never got to see the roster, but I heard they were coming with some heat. Uh, gosh, this is so hard. Okay, I'm just going to go with Atlantis. I'm going to go with it. No, I'm not going to go with Atlantis. I'm going to go with Holy crap, this is hypothetical and I can't even come up with the answer. I'm going to go with Rhino again. Rematch of LA. Eagle Impact Rugby Academy versus Rhino Rugby Academy. Another incredible match, but I think Eagle Impact ends up taking them down even by a couple more tries than they did last time. I th I believe in Eagle Impact that much. And I think Eagle Impact ends up winning the first stop on the series, heading into Utah for the boys. Now, for the girls, for the girls, we have, here is, once again, I'm reading off of Golf Rugby from the pools that he has set off here. Uh, Alex Golf doing an incredible job over there. I mean, this guy is like a machine. The amount of articles that he pumps out, the amount of just rugby information that he pumps out, I want to know his secrets because he is a freaking machine we, there's actually like 10 alex golfs out there and we don't always see them they just rotate between each other and when they're when they're on the phone and all that's just a theory but anyway i'm a big conspiracy theory or you know it's not really conspiracy if it's true pool a for the girls we have atlantis arizona rock rugby and the samoa academy i think atlantis the defending champions uh, of the North American High School Series. The defending champions uh, definitely lost some really good players. But coming in still with plenty of firepower, Atlantis is coming through that, no doubt about it. And then um, I'll go with um, Samoa. Why not? I'll go with Samoa on this one. Uh, those Polynesian girls, man, you... Oh, man. So laying the laying the wood, man. Laying big shots out there. Pool B: Rebel Rugby Academy, Gorilla Rugby, Renegades Thirty Two, Green and Gold Academy. I will let you know now. I've never seen the Renegades play. I've never seen Green and Gold play. Uh, I've never even seen the girls play from Gorilla because I don't believe that they were involved last year. I only saw Rebel Rugby. So just off that, I'm gonna go with Gorilla and Rebel for Pool C. We have Lions Rugby. We have the Badger Selects from Wisconsin. We have Aurora Barbarians, uh, Canadian Misfits, and we have Thunder Rugby. Never seen Thunder Rugby play. Uh, never seen the Badger Selects play, but I heard that they're pretty good. Uh, I've definitely seen the Lions Rugby Academy play. They took second last year in the series, uh, or took second at the NAI 7s at least in Utah. I'm going to go with the Lions. The Lions, and between the Badgers and the Misfits... Uh, I'm leaning towards the Badgers. I'll go with the Badgers on this one. Man, I'm just hating on the Canadians here. But I love Canada. I love Canada. Love it. Maple Leafs. As a kid, I jumped in leaves every fall. So, Bull D. Upright Rugby Academy. USA South. Rhinos Rugby Academy and Sunshine Coast Fever. I believe that they're from Australia. I'm not certain, but Aussies always packing heat. And I'm just going to go on a limb here and say that the Aussies make it through. And then I would say upright. There you go, Canada. Canada going through, baby. Okay, my top four. Atlantis. Lions. Sunshine Coast. And the Badgers. The championship match, if I had to pick. I'm going with... Atlantis, no doubt about it. Atlantis is going through. And Atlantis would battle it out, if the pools fell right, with the Lions. And it would be a rematch of Utah. And it would have so much hype. And the teams, the players would be just grilling each other down. Like, what's up, baby? And then this game, wow, man. Oh, man, it's going to go with, hey, why not? Utah pulls it off in Orlando. 
Whoa! So there you go. Eagle Impact Rugby Academy wins it for the boys. And Utah wins it for the girls. You heard it here first. And you can never come back and say you were wrong. Because they ain't going down. Uh, that being said is...